Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here on this Friday. What's the date? What's the date, girl? What? 11-24-2023. In the place to be, baby, baby. I guess this is one of those days they call Black Friday, right? So I put, I decided with my black. How about that? So, because I got some running around to do, you know, handling my business. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. So, uh, so the first part of the holidays is over. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is usually where a lot of people uh, want to be with their families or be with their significant others. You know, want to be in that kind of closeness environment. And I, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, I told you years ago, even before I uh, moved out of my parents' home, I started doing my own thing on holidays. Because, you know, in our house, there was just so many people, a lot of chaos, and a lot of carrying on, and da-da-da-da-da. And so, um, and it's so true that uh, someone said, someone posted that, you know, you have to be really careful around the holiday seasons because usually you have relatives coming in town that you hadn't seen in decades, at least from as far as I'm concerned. There's a lot of relatives I hadn't seen in, you know, usually I hadn't seen them in years and years and years and years. And that's not that's not really necessarily the issue. It's just they come in sometimes and want to kind of control the household. And I know growing up, my mom, I mean, my mom was disrespected a lot in those ways. I'm just going to be really honest, by certain relatives that, you know, they felt that they can just come on over and, you know, and, and uh, you know, be walking in, walking around, I mean, going in the refrigerator, you know that. I mean, people you hadn't seen in months on end, maybe years, and they going in your refrigerator and, and you know, this and that and the other. And the main thing is, you know, we used to have a lot of fun, regardless of all of that. But then, you know, once my mom had enough, when my mom says, get the hell out, she wants you to get the hell out. I mean, you know, she her... Um, her tolerance for certain things that she used to enjoy was uh, was getting less tolerable. You know, she just was, that's when she was probably getting into that kind of um, spiraling of, uh, I mean, the, the, the fluctuation of her personality, her emotions and feelings. So you have to keep that in mind when you're going over to people's houses, is all I'm saying. And usually when I, when I used to work in the 911 uh, call center back in the day, you know, we used to get those kind of calls where, you know, uncle is drunk, auntie's drunk, she won't go home, he won't go home. You know, people won't leave environments when they are causing destruction and mayhem, and, and which I don't understand. You know, if you are unhappy about something in someone's house that you don't live in, why don't you leave? Why does somebody have to tell you to leave? Uh, we had, we luckily we got through that phase when, you know, when it was time to go, people knew to go home. Okay. They, we didn't have to call the police to tell someone to leave. So a lot of things are just, have, are changing. And yet some people want to just kind of stay in certain modes of thinking. And I'm telling you that that's kind of dangerous, actually. You have to decide, okay, you know, how do I keep peace in the house and and how do I keep disrespectfulness at a minimum? Okay. Because, you know, unfortunately it can't happen, especially when you have alcohol involved. So like I said, with me, I just started my own stuff and I loved it. I really did. I, I mean, especially like I said, when, you know, I'll go to my parents' house and uh, I stopped, I stopped spending the night at my parents' house decades ago as well. I just, I just stopped doing that. I, I went and paid my respect to them, paid my respect to any other relatives that was there for the most part, and then I came home, meaning I came into my own environment so that I could regroup and, um, you know, get myself ready for, you know, going back into work the following day or maybe a, a day or so later. So it's so important, as I said, to create your own you know, create your own traditions and customs and rituals or whatever you want to call it, but create something that's your own. And if you're with a partner, that's even better. Create your own. That's what my parents did. You know, my parents didn't run to no, run to no other state to be with all the relatives. They stayed there in their own little world that they created together with us. 
all of us in the house. We became, you know, we became the family, the family unit. Whereas we didn't have to go traveling anywhere. We stayed right there in our own environment and in our own property that belonged to us, you know, that belonged to the family. And, you know, so again, I said this many times, privacy is going to be a premium for a lot of people. Meaning it's going to be a, you know, it's, it's going to be next to impossible to have the, the exclusive privacy that you, that you, uh, expect possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, because in our community, in the black community, like I said, we were, we were a community. So we kind of knew better how to respect people. It was very rare. Like I said, I mean, I don't remember having a police call to our house for very many things. There were some things and I made videos about that, but you know, when you are limited in space, you really need to be considerate of others. And that's what I developed. You know, I made sure my music wasn't played too loud, especially if I was in an apartment complex. I just made sure I took responsibility and accountability for my behavior so that I don't piss somebody off. Because some people just don't like to be bothered around holidays. They get depressed they get moody because of the situations that may have happened in their life. So all I'm saying is just re respect people. If you you know that's a choice now. Remember free will. Uh, respect people. Uh, you know respect their uh, des decisions on how they want to celebrate anything. Uh, you know and, and and let everyone bring their own meaning to whatever a holiday quote unquote means to them. A lot of these holidays are valueless, have no value to them at all. A lot of these holidays were uh, uh, fabricated to the utmost. So just uh, in a vow to yourself that you're going to, you know, create your own and make sure you're taking care of inside everything that you're filled inside. I had a good meal yesterday and I, I'm happy. I'm happy with, you know, you feed me. Okay. You, you, you can almost get me to do anything. Well, not really, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, you know, that's my, uh, that's something I enjoy. I mean, I, you know, I'll do, I used to, um, do a lot, <clears throat> do a lot of things. Um, you know, I mean, I take on the load, especially if somebody's cooking for me, what the least I can do is clean up. I can cook now, you know, but you know, I, that's a secret. You know, I'm just joking. I mean, I do okay. Put it that way. You know, I uh, I know how to take care of myself, obviously, right? But uh, you know, just kind of make someone's life peaceful and calming, especially around these holiday seasons, because a lot of people will snap. You know, when you come in there, and you know, especially those that are, you know, who you are, you freeloaders. You don't have a, you don't have, you don't have a, a pot to piss in, as they say. But you always come into people's houses and causing chaos and destruction and, and arguing with people. And, you know, and um, and there's, you know, and showing up. I mean, back in the day, people used to do this. They'll just show up unannounced. That was expected, you know. And like I said, we are, we're thinking as if we're still living in the 60s, seven, you know, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and we're not. So certain behaviors are not acceptable anymore. Okay, we should have elevated our behaviors and elevated our thoughts to make them cohesive to the to the environment we are that we we live now. Okay, there's there's nothing nothing <clears throat> original about the 60s, 70s, and the, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. All of that is gone. There's no no original uh, evidence of the 60s. 70s that are left anymore we've evolved past that so we our thoughts and our behaviors and our actions ought to have evolved as well and that's where we're falling uh dangerously behind in the evolution of our consciousness uh, i'm going to do some more podcasts I'll, pro I'll probably wait until next week and then i'm going to work on the nonprofit. you know work with someone to get my nonprofit going and do whatever I can to make the most impact. I know that my sounds and tones are going to just reach a certain caliber of people. I know that. 
and I'm not going to um, believe otherwise. You know, in other words, expect to um, I mean, because we all are at a different consciousness level. I've said that so many times. So, so the people that you're supposed to meet are the people you're going to meet. That's just how it is, okay? And so we have this certain level of energy that we put off that brings in what we need. Now, that can be good, bad, or ugly. But the, the factor of the matter, you need all of that, actually. So that's why I, when I'm doing when I started doing this, I was making mistakes, I was mispronouncing words, but I didn't re-record nothing. How about that? Unless there was something going on with the phone. In other words, I want you I want you to see me developing, making mistakes, looking crazy, talking crazy, acting crazy, you know, and having fun and da 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 da, and talking about subjects that most people probably say, okay, what the hell is she talking about? But yet they still are interested because. That's just how it is with the energy. You're gonna pick up the you're gonna pick up what resonates with you, what you've been thinking and cultivating in your thoughts, and you may have been unconscious about it. You know, you probably were asking questions about certain things like why are we celebrating this holiday anyway, based on the history of it. Right? A lot of people ask these questions. And a lot of people will throw stuff back into your face. Well, at least you have the day off, but then I'm saying a lot of people are not getting paid. That's the point. So Cons always, what I would do, mm. woo, woo, woo. That's, that tastes good. That was kind of strong. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would do is just, you know, challenge everything about what you believe. Because unless you deal with the beliefs of your, the beliefs that you hold dear, you know, chances are you're going to just stay in a, a, a sea of uh, uh, redundancy you know, in a vortex, in a whirlpool, you know, and, and not and not do what is necessary to be a genuine human being in a true sense. So, so I'm excited this morning. <laughs> you know, I get excited in the mornings. <laughs> like I said, that was that was very rare back in the day. I did not like mornings, and I didn't like when some people were, you know, attempting to wake me up in the mornings. I, I that used to irritate me, but now I'm a little different. I, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm a morning person. I'm a night person. You know, uh, in the nighttime, you know, if I if I'm being entertained, I I can stay awake. But you know, there's a certain time. You know, hey, if it's really nice and calm and cool, you know, and I've read some you know some some books and or paperwork or whatever and I know how to relax myself and calm myself down because of meditation okay guess what <laughs> I won't fall asleep so just find some define the find an environment where you can actually breathe because I'm telling you uh, space is going to be uh, an issue with a lot of people there's going to be crowds everywhere there's going to be crowds especially on the roadways. You go into a store, crowds, you go here, you might have to wait in line. You know, find something that, you know, that you can, that doesn't interfere with your peace of mind, interfere with your consciousness development, because it's going to get sticky and, and people are going to be stepping on your toes, you know, disregarding the fact that you're even there and stepping all in front of you and grabbing at things and this and that's going to be literally figuratively metaphorically if you understand what i mean so i'm gonna stop right there go ahead and have me something to eat before i go out and about and handle my business all right so trust me i have a lot to talk about a lot and i can't wait like i said to meet some of you face to face and just see how i can uh improve my delivery of my whatever I'm attempting to relay the type of information I'm attempting to put out make it um it you know it's not it's nothing religious I don't deal with re anything religious but it may be uh it, religion is go religion is going to be a culminating issue that I'll be talking about and how it has indoctrinated all of us for millions and millions of years Okay, and uh, you know, just talk about new concepts as to how we can evolve our conversations and our discussions, and take away the argument. 
why why did why does that have to even be a part of our vocabulary anymore? Because of the connotations when you say argument and argue and debating. Okay, that's that's that those are those command words. I told you to to do everything in your power to 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 to, to replace them with neutrality and when you're delivering a speech, you know, get away from command words because that's just, you know, that that cause that causes a lot of people to get offended. You know, and some people just get offended just to be getting offended. And those are the people that have not worked on their feelings and emotions. So they take everything on personal. So it's hard to get away from that. I have that in my family. I'm sure everybody has that in their family where you have one one or two or three or maybe more that gets easily offended by every little thing you say to them. You know, they, they, you're hurting them by just talking to them. And they do that to shield you from telling them anything. That's a... That's a um, that's a manipulation, by the way. When someone, when you're attempting to talk to someone and they say, okay, you're offending me, or they're crying at the drop of the dime. That's all manipulation and de deception. Just pay attention. Tell me what you think about that. Like I said, look for the contradictions in people. There's plenty of them. You know, they're, like I said, they, they claim that they're so strong and that they can handle certain situations. And then when you when you present it to them, then they're crying like babies, or they're offended, and then they sh they shut down. That's manipulation. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how how the term narcissistic has even evolved as well. You know where that word no longer actually have the same meaning and value to it. Okay, it's morphed into something subtle. Okay, and that a lot of people miss. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love right now. But trust me, I'll be back.